The second stage of this year's Giro d'Italia comes on Sunday the 5th of May and it's a relatively short but fairly technical team time trial. In fact the hardest part of the course could be as they come out of the start town which comes up a long climb. Stage 2. This year's team time trial takes place on the volcanic island of Ischia in the Tyrrhenian Sea just outside of Naples. The stage is only 17.4 kilometres long so we won't see big time differences but it's still a good opportunity for perhaps Bradley Wiggins and Team Sky to get an early advantage on the rest of the favourites. The first three kilometres are uphill with the rest of the route undulating up and down with only a few flat parts. There's a time check in Casa Micciole Terme at the 7.9 km mark after the first two short climbs. Naturally, alongside the sea, the wind could turn out to be a factor on the final 9.5 km towards the finishing line in Forio. In 1883, the city of Casa Micciole Terme got destroyed by an earthquake, and this year it will be a team that hopes to shake the peloton with a groundbreaking performance against the clock. Team Sky won the team time trial in the Giro del Trentino last month, taking one second per kilometer on Astana and Vincenzo Nibali, who entered the stage in second. Team Sky's Giro roster is definitely stronger than the one in Trentino, and Bradley Wiggins knows he needs to gain as much time as possible on his rivals in these stages. Wiggins may find it difficult to take more than 20 seconds on Nibali today, but it would still be of great psychological value to take the lead. Pure climbers like Jose Rojano and Domenico Pozzavivo expect their teams not to lose too much time before the mountains, but on past form, it's likely that Vicente Soleil and Azure Desert will finish towards the bottom part of the table today. Whilst the time gaps between the teams shouldn't be too big, Team Sky and last year's Team Time Trial winners Team Garmin Sharp will be looking to deliver an early blow to their rivals. However, for the stage win itself, we can also look to teams without a GC rider, such as Orica Green Edge or Amiga Farmer Quickstep. If you want to check out Stage 3, we've got that for you too. Stage 3 sees the riders facing over 200 kilometres as they head south on the west coast of the country. A heart rate monitor or a power meter to pace yourself. If you do things right, you'll be passing a lot of riders. Too